Welcome back, family, to another video. Now, the reason why you're looking at the image that you see there on the screen is that we all love this country being the United States of America. Now, we definitely have our issues. And some of us just ready to get the hell up out of here. Let's just be honest. But one thing I'm starting to see more and more of in this country is messaging that tries to convince men that they should be something other than men. What do I mean by that? Family, over the course of the last week, I've been seeing a lot of these videos just promoting utter and blatant simpery. So I'm starting to wonder, is this the United States of America or the United Simps of America? Now we already know most men ain't with the simtastic behavior. But you got these guys that keep trying to push messaging upon men to say, fellas, just give in. Do whatever she wants you to do. Please join our fan club. But guess what? We never give in. And to all of the beautiful ladies who may have a problem with what I'm about to say, don't be mad at me because you are not naturally beautiful. Now, not you, boo, on the screen. Even though you kind of smirk in your face like that, girl, you will get it over here for show, for show. Shout out to all my day one subscribers and everybody who's been tuned into the channel of late. I appreciate all the love. So if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. Now, without further ado, let's get busy. All men do is lie, cheat, and manipulate. At least get what you want out of them. I don't care if your man's a good man. I don't care if he's a church man. I don't care if he's a cop. I don't care if he's corporate. If your man looks good and he has a check, he gets chicks. Simple as that. You might not know. So understand this. Get what you can and go. We are not our parents or grandparents generation. Inflation is up and we're in a recession. Make sure he's doing for you. At least taking you to dinner. At least paying some type of bills. Doing something that adds an excitement and a smile to your life. Get what you can out of us men or be like the woman that's blind and do it for love and in the end realize you should have did what you should have did <laughs> family i can't stand dudes like this he basically says girl get what you can get out of us men like he's in the same club as us men <laughs> that's funny but here we go i agree men should be able to take a woman out for a nice dinner no problem with that be a gentleman, handle your business. But paying bills, why would you be paying bills? You know, when you think about paying bills, bills are usually paid on a 25 day to 30 day cycle. What is this woman doing for you to where you need to be paying on a 25 to 30 day cycle, meaning that you're paying tangibles like bills? I don't give a shit if it's a cell phone bill or rent. Now I can see you doing those things for a lady that you're, you know, like your wife or something. Like those are wifey type of things. But some random chick that you meet, you gonna sit up here and pay bills over the course of 30 days for a woman that you might see how many times out of that month? Please knock it off. You know, guys like this, I really feel bad for them because I understand that he's trying to get popular doing this. And this is really not gonna make any woman dripping in the pants but this type of behavior usually happens with men who spend time in the pokey some of you guys don't know what the pokey is the pokey is a jail cell that when he got outside he just wanted to be around nothing but chicks so he was just gonna start saying ludicrous shit out his mouth so he can just get chicks 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 so if you're a woman you can choose to listen to people like this and say yes 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 men need to step their game up but at the end of the day you will only attract a guy like this. Think about it. Now, if you thought the previous guy was bad, this guy is worse. I see a lot of dudes out here requesting that women have their nails done, their hair done, and all this shit, right? But the dude is not willing to pay for any of it. Like, my brother, where do you get off in your head thinking, yeah, you can request all this shit, but not put any money up for it? You realize it's not that much money, right? You realize it's like 150 bucks for her to get her nails and her toes done. Like, it's not that much money. You realize it's like 150 bucks to 200 bucks just for her to get her eyelashes done. 
It's another few hundred bucks just for her to get her hair done. Stop it right there. Your man basically just says $600 for this girl to get what? Her nails done, lashes done, and her hair, right? Now, I can understand a man saying, you know what? I want my woman to look good. But see, looking good doesn't always mean she needs to go get fake beauty aesthetics. You got to ask yourself as a man, what type of woman am I dealing with? Am I dealing with a woman who naturally looks good? Or am I dealing with a woman who needs to go out here and pay for all this fake stuff in order to look good? But I think when most men say that they want a woman to look good or have her hair and their nails done, I don't necessarily think that they are jumping to she needs to have her nails done, meaning going to some store to get them done. Why can't she take care of her nails naturally? The whole lashes thing, that's some old tack head shit. And her hair being done, I can understand that, but I'm going to break this thing fully down in just a second. Let's let this moron carry on. All in all, it's like a grand a month. Like, fellas, if you can't afford to drop a grand a month on your girl, you probably shouldn't have a fucking girl. I'm just saying, I'm no genius or anything, but two plus two is four. You want her to do what you want her to do, then you got to be willing to pay for those things. It's pretty Okay, enough of the shenanigans. Let's educate this guy once and for all. So for this particular breakdown, let me start out with sisters being that I'm a black male. I've been in two long-term relationships with sisters. One, my child's mother, and then another long-term relationship with a sister, right? So in both examples, one of them had dreads and another one had like the curly fro that you're seeing right there on the screen. Both of these women, they put a lot of stock into what they put into their body, meaning that they tend to eat a lot of organic food, fruits, vegetables. So they take care of their body with a lot of the foods that go inside of themselves. And in turn, what I started noticing was that these women, they both had this natural glowing shine to them because of the food. And I wasn't the type of guy to eat all of these types of foods. Yes, my father, you know, had a lot of organic food in the household, but my mom's wasn't really on that. So I was educated by my father about, you know, a lot of the fitness type of stuff really comes from what it is that you put in your body. And what it is that you put in your body naturally tends to help your body shine. So I've always believed in that model and the two women that I've had that were black women in my life from a relationship standpoint. But I started noticing that that was very important to me as being a black man with these black women who believed in natural beauty. So that's what I was shaped and molded to understanding what the beauty standard was. Now, I've also been in relationships with white women. And one thing I noticed about the two white women that I've been in long term relationships with is that they had the same effect. I mean, they would eat a lot of healthy food. If they did their nails, they did their nails themselves. They didn't go around here going to other places, spending wild, crazy money on fake aesthetics. But I also noticed another thing. And correct me if you feel I'm wrong with this. If your brother listening to this and you dated white women, let me know if I got this part wrong. The two white women that I was in a relationship with, I noticed that they only got their hair done about every four to six months. I was amazed by that because a lot of black women, not the women I was in long term relationships with, but women I'm more so hooked up with or short term dating. They would put a lot of emphasis on hair and nails. And yes, they were aesthetically pleasing, but it was like artificial. It wasn't like, you know, fresh out of the shower look. And yes, they did look good, but those girls were putting this wild emphasis on going to get their hair done probably like every three weeks or some shit like that. Do you know that how much that stuff costs? And please understand that I'm a man who believes in taking care of his lady, but from the standpoint of I want to be able to provide for her to make sure that she's putting the right foods on her body, but also natural products. And I'm willing to pay for those. Now, I've had some white girls that be like, I want um, essential oils. And I'd be like, what the fuck? I was like, what girl? She was like, we should get some essential oils. And, you know, essential oils are good for your skin and all that. I'm like, OK, cool, cool, cool. I'm thinking essential oils are going to cost like $15. This shit costs like $40 for this little ass bottle. I was like, girl, you tripping. But at the end of the day, I understood that these women, they take care of themselves 
doing the necessary things to help save money for their relationship for themselves but also for their men so the point i'm trying to make homie is understand if you are dealing with a woman who naturally looks good you don't need to put a whole bunch of money into some aesthetic bullshit. but maybe the type of women that you deal with are those types of women who don't naturally look good i'm just saying homie do you but don't try to convince me or other guys out there that we should be paying a thousand dollars per month equaling twelve thousand dollars just to buy some artificial bullshit because she don't want to take care of her body knock it off which brings us to the last man who was out here trying to win the Simtastic of the Year trophy, this guy. Now, notice when this man starts talking, he uses a certain word. And when I get to that, I'm going to break it down. But we see a lot of these guys who talk like this. And you start to notice that there's a lot of these guys who just want to be male feminists. All righty, sir. I'm going to try my best to explain to you and every other man who's whining about this why we have a problem of lonely men at large and why it is, in fact, an inability to look inward. After dealing with a society that has basically pressured women into feeling like the only way that they can be fulfilled is to settle for a relationship and dealing with men who talk a really good game, manipulating their way into relationships and then showing their true colors once they finally get what they want. Women said enough. Because <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. So you notice the language that these type of gentlemen use that men are sitting out here trying to manipulate women into thinking that they want commitment, that they want a relationship only to get what they want, which is that box. But sir, I ask you, do women not do the same thing? Women jump into a relationship, manipulate men through the box to get exactly what it is that they want. Seems to be a two-way street to me. I'm just saying. But notice how he's just pointing out what it is that men ought to do and trying to tell us that if we don't change, we don't look inward, then we're going to be single and lonely. Sounds a lot like that uh, psychologist today type of talk, Mr. Santos. Women said enough. Because of this, women have raised the standard. They've raised the bar. Excuse me, sir. Are you trying to say that women are smarter and they're leveling up? Are you sure about that? Yes, there is an age. <laughs> uh solid or spin it or but do something quickly you don't um, I'll spin it. okay okay what letter for you i'll go with a g uh, what country is she from i think i want to go there <laughs> my bad i'm just fucking around my bad my bad and instead of rising up to meet it which would require looking inward and fixing whatever it is that's going on inside of you to improve yourself and make you a better person, men have pushed back. And the reason why they've pushed back? Well, the patriarchal society has oh, convinced shit. them. Here we go. Here we go. Have you ever noticed that every time one of these male feminists start talking, it's always like men need mental health or, um, the problem is the patriarchy and another word that they or another phrase that they're starting to use when they talk about patriarchy is male dominated society and they twist these words around like they think we're stupid but every single time it's always like men need to do better have you ever thought in your mind that maybe men are raising the bar men are raising the standard to say that we know what we want and if they can't meet those standards they're the ones that's going to be single and lonely because men are choosing not to be in relationships with them but see they never want you to think that way as a man you have to understand that you are the common denominator and everything evolves around you in close the family the only point I'm trying to make to you in this video is that we keep getting more and more messaging about men should do better. Women, it's okay to use men. Or, man, these guys are complaining because they don't want to spend a thousand dollars a month on their girls' fake aesthetic products. So keep trying, Mr. Semtastics. 
but these men are deciding things for themselves. Until next time, fellas, keep doing you. I'm out. Peace.